What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get ourselves our next badge, I think, and we defeated our rival. You know, that guy that keeps on pushing us around because, I don't know, he's mad at the world or something. I don't know. I really, really don't know. So, it is time for us to go to the Ilex Forest, and, well, you know, let's see. We gotta check it. Yes, Ilex Forest had entered through the gate. Now, there is quite something uh, going on there that I don't know yet. So, if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, Alex Forest is big. Be careful. Don't get lost. Or how about this lady? The forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of mischief. Why would you make me? I don't know. Okay, so here we are in the Alex Forest, and it looks beautiful. Now, there, as always, there is something going on right here. It happens to do with something... Uh, by the name of a uh, Furfitch right here, but unfortunately we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon right now. So a touch a bit, man. Doesn't have a flying type attack. Gonna move on right here. Probably should put on a repel. Now let's talk to this guy right here. He's gonna notice us. He's gonna be like, "Oh man, my boss is going to be angry." The Furfitch that uh, cuts trees for charcoal took off uh, in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Furfitch uh, have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Yes, I can. It's pretty simple, guys. Very, very simple. So, let's see if we actually do have... Oh, yeah, we do have quite a few repels. There we go. And, well, it is time to move on right here. Now, what he's talking about is these little branches right here that you see on the ground. If you step on this, Farfetch is going to look at us. And, well, it's not really that hard to actually get to Farfetch. You just have to get right behind the little bastard, and, well, let's go right here. Look at that. Doesn't even notice that we were behind him. We got one. Okay, so that's one down. Wow, you found a Farfetch'd. Thank you. But there is another one missing. If you step on the branch, it will face that way. Remember, that's your chance to catch it. Sneak up right behind it slowly, and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, well, we already know that. So let's go right ahead and try and find this guy right here. Second Farfetch is always the toughest one to find, but you know, since we are seasoned trainers, <clears throat> yep, seasoned trainers, we'll be able to catch him pretty quickly right here. So let's go right ahead and use another repel, and let us move on right here and grab this little item right here. Look at that, we found ourselves a revive. Nice. Okay, so that is that. And, well, you guys already noticed that I have Zubat on my team right here. I have him first because I kind of want him to grow in happiness. And uh, look at that. There's that Farfetch looking at us. So I think we're going to have to make it advance pretty quickly right here. If you go right in front of it, it will run away. So now, let's see. There's a, if there's a way to get this guy, it's right here somewhere. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're stepping in right here. Looking right behind. God dang it. There's no way out. So we're going to have to go all the way back again and crud, use another repel. All right, so right here. And stay away from those branches. And that is how you get a Farfetch. Suck on those lemons. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's two Farfetch. He's like, wow, you got the bow for me. Thank you so much. My boss Pokemon won't obey me because I, won't, I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. And just like that, the boss is coming around, and he's going to be like, Ah, my far and my fetched. You found them for us, kid. Without, uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees uh, for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. And we get ourselves our very first, uh, our second HM. Yeah, HM01. Cut. And he's saying, teach that to a Pokemon that cl to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the uh, badge from the Azalea t GM to use it. Alrighty, so no need for that anymore because we already got the badge. And, well, now we just need to teach it to a Pokemon. Luckily for us, we got Sir Razor with us. So let's use this uh, cut technique right here. And let's give that to Sir Razor. Alrighty, so that is that. We are not going to be wasting any more time. And... We're going to be cutting through the trees. Look at that. Yes, we are cutting through everything. Farfetch, I gotta love you, but I gotta leave you. And here's the Ilex Forest Shrine. It's a tribute to this forest protector. Of course, we will be a, like, we'll, we'll be going into that event. You guys already know that this is where Celebi's at. 
And well, let's see. Now, in this gym or in this place right here, you're gonna be finding some po bug Pokemon, but you can also find them on the trees. Now, the trainer tips here say Alex Forest is uh, so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Okay, I will. Yes, I will. And well, let's see. There might be an item right here. Yes, we found ourselves an X attack. An awesome move or an awesome uh, uh, item that will actually help us. A booster I take just a little bit and well let's go right ahead and uh, let's see let's see let's go back and go with the uh, repel right here alrighty so let's see there's an individual right there waiting for us so we got to get straight to him but I guess we're gonna have to go all the way back and just like you saw right there guys we need a well we need a we can headbutt it somehow and I'm just clicking on everything right now I probably should have bought more repels while I was at it and, hmm, it's a kimono girl. I'll, I'll get back to you soon, honey. I will get back to you soon. Now, the most important part right here is not that. I'm going to be going with another repel. It's got to be our last repel right here. And we're going to be going straight to this guy. He's We notice him. And he's banging on that tree again and again. Look at that. Okay, so let's see what you have to say. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try it on your Pokemon too. Which Pokemon should I teach it? Well, I guess most of my Pokemon can learn headbutt, but who needs it the most? I'm assuming, that, let's see. Uh, actually, hold on, hold on just a second. Okay, so let me see whose physical attack uh, actually works better. Let's see. Cinder right here. I'm not much of a physical attacker. And then we got, uh, well, look at that. Uh, Flood Volt, it's also a special attacker right here. So the logical choice would have to be Lucky, if we're lucky enough. Okay, so we're gonna probably go with Lucky right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Again, Lexi. Who should he turn you to? Lucky. Lucky's trying to learn Headbutt. Can't learn four moves. What should I teach it? I'm gonna have to take away a tail whip right here. This is also good, very, very good. And yes, okay, alrighty, alrighty. And uh, look at that. Lucky forgot to use tail whip and bam! That's a good Pokemon right there. There, how do you like it? Your Lucky looks stronger. Okay, that's cool, that's very good. Okay, so as many of you guys already know, you can actually find Pokemon right onto the trees right here by using headbutt. It's very, very simple, guys. Just press on the tree and just use the headbutt and then BAM! Your Pokemon appears and BAM! You'll get attacked by a Pokemon. Not all the time, but most of the time. And here we found ourselves our first Pokemon and that is Pineco right here. A bug type that eventually learns or gets to be a Steel type Pokemon. Steel and Dre or... Let me rephrase that. A steel slash bug type Pokemon, the first of its kind and all that stuff. So I'm just going to throw a net ball, hopefully. It does it. Look at that. We got Pineco. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So that right there, is, you know, solves the mystery of the legendary Pineco right there. Okay, so let's see. Well, going, to the, uh, going to the trees right there, or going straight to uh, the, the PC and all that stuff. So now let's just go ahead and uh, take care of business with uh, one of these uh, kimono girls right here that's been waiting for us for quite some time. And look at that, she's noticed us. And she's like, kimono girl, kimono girl. Lost and all alone. Poor kimono, poor girl's lost in the in the park. I like force or dark. <laughs> what, you remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Yes, I will. You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? Oh, uh, my Zubat. My Zubat, what the heck? Wow! Are you going, or are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. It's a good Pokemon. See you! It's a good Zubat right there. It's a very good Zubat. Look at that. Zubat, you are you are you are a smart Pokemon. I didn't even realize that. And here we found ourselves an Ether. Very good. Uh, very very good. Uh, actual well, an item right there. Whatever. And there's nothing right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get the H out of here. And our repel has worn off. So 
we're going to get attacked by one Pokemon right here. And of course, we're going to be going against Paras. 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 Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so here we are in the gateway, and if you talk to this lady right here, did you see the shrine that pays homage to the Protector? The Protector watches over the forest from across time. I think that it must be a grass-type Pokemon. Could be. Now, if you talk to this lady, she's going to be like, Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? You must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try using this TM for a change. And look at that, guys. We get ourselves a TM-12, which is Sweet Scent. Or, no, actually, it's Taunt. I was thinking of Generation 2 and all that stuff. Use it, and the target Pokemon can only use moves that do damage to your Pokemon for a while. Okay, alrighty. So that's actually a very, very good strategic magic. So here we are in Route 34. Many of you guys already know that I usually stop my episode right here, but yeah, that's not the case right now because we have to get to Goldenrod City. So let's go right ahead and start switching out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with a Toxic Batman because it's uh, trying to flap its wings to battle this guy right here. So here we go. This is where I do my training. Okay. Let's do this. Youngster Samuel, meddling, coming out with this rat -ta, ta ta level 7. And I'm going to bite every single one of them. There we go. Bite attack. Almost does it. And well, here we go again. Another bite attack. Yes, sir. Rebound. Look at that. Okay. And he's going to come out with a chance true. So let's go with Lucky right here. I haven't used Lucky in quite some time. In a long time. I don't even know. So here we go. Water gun. Not as fast as Sand True. And, but it does have that effectiveness against them. So it's super effective. We're going to do it again. Come on. Let's go, Lucky. Lucky does it. Lucky gets it. There we go. And it grows to level 13. Awesome. Okay, so it's coming out with a Spearow. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be training all our Pokemon, which is cool. Very, very good. So there we go. And Flavolt coming. And Flavolt goes with a Thundershock right here. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Spearow. Yeah, everybody's getting experience points right here. Well, except for Quilava. So let's go again. Thundershot. For the win. Suck on those, Lemon Spiro. There we go. Okay, alrighty. Let's move on right here. And, well, let's see. There is a Poke Fan right there. And, let's see. I'm going to go straight to the girl that has all the Bulbasaur. Because, you know what? Cinder needs some loving as well. Actually, let's go right ahead and check out our Poke Egg, see if it's going to hatch anytime soon. And it says, sounds can be heard coming from inside. It will hatch soon. That is awesome. Very, very awesome. I cannot wait. So let's move on right here and get attacked by this Pokemon trainer right here. She's looking at us all cockeyed and everything. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this. Bring it. And here she comes out with a hump hip. And Hup Hip, Hip Hop Anonymous, goes with Ember Attack right here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And she's going to come out with her typical Bulbasaur and Ivysaur right here. So let's go. Ember Attack. Cinder wins it again. Hell yeah. That Flame Mohawk gives it level 19 and all that stuff. And here she comes out with another Hop Hip. So let's go right ahead and do it one more time. Ember Attack. Board the win. Righty, look at that. Easy victory. Easy freaking victory. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be there and cheerleader. When I can't when I'm out on the walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I find anything, you can have it. Want to give me your number? Yes, I will give you my number because I believe this is the girl that actually gives you a leaf stone. Now remember to get those Pokemon trainers that give you Pokemon elemental stones because those could be of great use. If you want to use, uh, what was it? If you want to use your, your Growlithe or anything like that. So let's move on, see what this guy has to say. And I just got my Pokemon back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's see. Snubble. Snubble. And of course, it does have its Intimidate, so that's kind of lame right there. So let's go, headbutt attack, and oh god, we're gonna get licked. Headbutt attack, doesn't take as much, but here we go, water gun. Schnubble, come on, Schnubble, stop hitting me. And, well, this Schnubble right here, 
has already licked me dry. So let's go right ahead and switch it to Toxic Batman. Come on. Let's get this. It's gonna go with the bat attack. Okay, so let's go with the bite attack ourselves. Look at that. And yes, we got our shell bell. And we're getting charmed again. God dang it. Alright, let's try this again. And well, you gotta you gotta love the shell bell. So let's flinch him. Let's just flinch him. And here we go again. Another restored. And here comes a tail whip attack, which I don't like. So here we go one more time. Bite attack for the win. Suck on those lemons. Yeah. And, well, everybody's getting experience points, and here he comes out with a Reap, so, distinct advantage for Lucky. Let's go. Alrighty. So, let's go with a Mud Shot right here. Really? You're gonna be going with that? But here we go, Mud Shot. Nearly takes him out, and its speed is going down, so here we go again, Mud Shot for Lucky. Almost beats him. But look at that, speed's going down. And one more mud shot for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Brandon has been defeated. Okay, all right. And, well, would you look at that, Mama's calling us. So we're gonna have to see what she's talking, what she's saying and everything. Hello? Oh, hi, Draven, how are you? I bought a, I bought a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money, sorry. But I asked the delivery man to take it to you. You should stop by the nearest Pokemon or department store to pick it up. I know you'll it'll be useful. Click. Okay, alrighty. Let's move on right here. Alright, so we've already beaten those guys. And, well, let's go straight back to Toxic Batman right here. Still kind of waiting that the for the egg to hatch, so... Yeah, let's just uh, move on right here. And... Okay, let's go, let's go. We're gonna be going again. And he's coming out with a Mankey. Unfortunately, I don't have a flying type attack just yet, so I'm gonna be, be more strategic magic right here. That's right, we're gonna confuse this Pokemon. Okay, and that low kick does not do anything, so now let's go for the ghost attack. Okay, still confused. And, well, he's going to be lowering our defense. So, let's see. Let's try it again. Astonish. Nearly takes him out. Alrighty, alrighty. Hurt by confusion. This is also good. And, look at that. Toxic Batman. Victorious again. Hell yeah! And, she's going to be... Or, he's going to be coming out with a Dulux. So, let's go straight back to Lucky right here. And, well, let's see... Alright, let's go. Water gun attack. There we go. He only takes him out right there. Come on, Diggly, just faint. Faint like the Pokemon you are. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that. And finally, le level 14, which is good. And Ian, he's like, no. <laughs> he doesn't like the way we, we beat him, so... Hmm, I tr if you transferred into my class, I'd become second best student in my class, wouldn't I? I want to get stronger before that could happen. So, would you trade phone numbers with me? Yeah, I... Okay, I have Pokemon battles. No, okay, wait, don't tell me you're serious about transferring into my school. Yeah, I'm not going to transfer to your school. Whatever, okay. And before we even get to the Pokemon daycare, we hear someone say, Grandpa! Oh, damn, there's our Biffle, Lyra. And she's like, good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has uh, been healthy as it can be. You look fit, too. And she's looking at us. And she's like, hi, Draven. Well, hello there. Let me introduce you. This is Draven. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa. Of course. Follow me, Draven. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, so we're going to be going into the daycare. Seeing what's in here, and uh, we're going to be seeing Grandmama. Grandma, let me introduce you, my friend. This is Draven. Uh-huh, this is the boy. This is your boy friend? I see. Hmm. <laughs> what, Grandma? What are you talking about? He just happens to be, uh, he just happened to live nearby. I thought she was going to go with the Sheldon answer. She, he just happens to be a boy who happens to be my friend. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure to be to make sh must be sure about his talent. Right, Draven? Come on and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. You know what sucks about this is that we never battle against each other. And she's gonna be like, oh, I almost forgot. What's up, baby? Here, this is my Poke Gear number. And we got her phone number. Finally! It's about dang time. You know you can talk to your or you know you can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and on, and in towns. I'm telling you, I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them with you. Grandma! Don't you say anything. We are both trainers, and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Oh damn, oh damn. Trying to keep us a secret. Hey Granny, she's my girlfriend. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. So let's move on right here. And I wonder, okay, so if once we get out right here, Grandpa's gonna be like, I have an idea. I'll give you our numbers. Then you can check on the Pokemon we raised for you. And here we have another number. We can't say no to this one right here. And, oh yeah, both Grandma and Grandpa's number. So I'm just gonna be like, hey, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and marry a girl, so yeah. Yeah, how would I surprise her? You know, just a pranker and stuff. Call us from the time when you, or from the time to time when you give us your Pokemon to raise. I'll be happy to, to use it for this uh, Poke Gear my grandchild give me. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> I just sneezed. Thank you, Kazuntite. Okay, so here we go against one of the police officers, and it will only be triggered once it's nighttime. So, yeah. What's with you? What are you doing? Yes, you will only battle these guys at nine time. And, well, they're going to be coming out with Growlithe, the most loyal Pokemon ever. And, yeah, we are now at a disadvantage just because Growlithe is at level 17 and lowering our stats like crazy. So, let's confuse this guy. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Bite attack. Come on. That's right. Confuse yourself. Here we go. Bite attack. Does thing. And we're getting healed up again. Bite attack. Do it again. That's right. Hurt yourself. That, that was probably a powerful attack. And, oh crud, it snapped out of confusion and just like that, just robs us of our soul just a little bit. And look at that, we make it out alive. And bam. Toxic Batman grows a little 15, doesn't learn anything sweet. I really wish it did, because it would have been awesome. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, well, we got... Another trainer, one more trainer, so let's go straight to our good old, good old Pokemon right here, Cinder. Okay, what do you have to say, homeboy? Let's see. I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. One Z? No, not really. I really don't. Okay, so here we go, Camper Todd wants the battle, coming with his Psyduck. Crud baskets, I chose the wrong Pokemon, but you know what? It's gonna be Quick Attack Palooza right here, and uh, Crud! Super effective. So here we go. Quick attack again. And we got, we're just going to keep on getting hit until, yeah, somebody dies. Here we go. Quick attack. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Victorious. Okay. Alrighty. We should both train our Pokemon some more and have another battle. Should be... No, I'm not going to get your phone number either because I don't like you at all. I'm going to destroy your confidence every single time. Rob your soul and send it to the Shadow Realm. And look at that. We found ourselves the TM-63 Embargo, which uh, well, I guess... What was it? It prevents any kind of Pokemon using the same move you have. You may have or something like that. Okay, so let's get out of here. Do you not want to mess with rat ta 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 and would you look at that, guys? We finally made it to Goldenrod City. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to take a small tour of Goldenrod City. And I don't know. There might be a surprise here and there. I don't know. But there's bound to be a surprise here and there. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.